The Smart Hashtag One reinvents the smart brand for a new era. A compact, full electric hatch for style conscious folk who will enjoy a rather unique Sino Teutonic blend of EV engineering. The car retains the smart spirit, but offers it in a car family fashionistas could realistically justify, with space for five and a range of up to 273 miles. Think of smart and you picture a tiny city car, but things are changing. The company is reinventing its profile as a style-led electric mobility brand, and that will start with this car, the Smart Hashtag One. It is, according to its maker, the nucleus of all things to come, which means several things. First, that in the future, we'll see bigger smart models than we've previously been used to. And to set that trend, this Hashtag One is a family hatch about the size of a Kia Nero or a Mini Countryman. And second, that for the future, Smart will be as much a Chinese nameplate as it is a European one. Having realised after two decades of trying that it was never going to make money out of the Smart brand as it was, in 2019, Mercedes-Benz sold 50% of this urban Mark's equity to Chinese industrial giant Geely. That conglomerate, owner of Volvo, Polestar, Lotus and a host of other brands, agreed to build all future smart models in China and base all initial ones on a platform it already had on its books, the SEA, or Sustainable Experience Architecture chassis, that features on another rival Geely finance model, the Volvo EX30. We'll also see it underpinning the second new era smart model, the Hashtag 3, a coupe SUV. But for now, our focus is on the car primarily tasked with keeping the company afloat, this Hashtag 1 EV family hatch. It's a vast departure from anything we've previously seen from smart, but is it different enough from rivals to make meaningful headway in a family hatch EV class dominated by much more familiar contenders like Volkswagen's ID3, Kia's Nero EV and Hyundai's Kona Electric. If you're looking at cars like that, ought you to be factoring in this one as a rather left field alternative? Well, to find out, you're going to need the industry's most comprehensive review, the car and driving road test. It all feels very EV era behind the wheel with a narrow instrument screen facing you and a Mercedes style gear selector stalk to your right. So what might a new era smart be like? Well, banish from your mind any thoughts of smarts previous to this. The last one we tried, a little 4.2 EV, had just 82 horsepower and struggled in vain in our hands to get anywhere near a three figure driving range. Here in this mainstream Hashtag One model, the rear mounted motor puts out more than three times that power, 272 braked horses, and the EV range figure for the first time in a Smart is one probably likely to get you where you need to go. In this premium spec variant, the one most will choose, that's rated at 273 miles. If you were amongst the few who liked the brand's earlier dinky city cars, you might not be as keen on the news that to achieve all of this, curb weight has almost doubled. Did you ever think a Smart would weigh nearly two tonnes? Well, that's what carting around a 66 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt battery pack does for you. To be fair, it doesn't feel particularly lardy to drive. 343 newton metres of pulling power, allowing this rear driven model to accelerate urgently when required and zip to 62 miles an hour from rest in 6.7 seconds, en route to its inevitably restricted top speed, in this case set at 112 miles an hour. There are the expected three driving modes, Eco, Comfort and Sport, which primarily affect steering weight and throttle response. Regenerative braking strength is apparently influenced too, 
though there are three further drive settings to individually affect that. Standard, strong and e-pedal, the latter allowing for fashionable one-pedal driving where you hardly ever have to use the actual brake pedal once you come off the accelerator. When you do, you'll find that the passive pedal integrates electrical and friction braking quite seamlessly. But is it fun to drive, as perhaps a smart should be? Well, not really. There's not really enough steering feel for that or traction from the eco-focused rubber that fills the black clad arches. But low-speed twisty point and squirt driving can be quite engaging if you're in the right mood and don't mind decimating your EV range, which incidentally falls to 260 miles in the base Pro Plus model. Probably though, the decision not to push up the smile factor here too high was the right one. There is, after all, a hashtag one derivative better able to provide that, which we'll get to in a moment. And for this mainstream model, it was wise to concentrate on preserving the supple ride owners will need to meet its largely suburban driving remit. You wouldn't call the damping absorbent, but despite the big 19-inch wheel rims, there aren't too many broken urban surfaces that seriously trouble it. A further bonus is refinement that's difficult to better in this class. Yes, all EVs are refined, but quite a few struggle with wind and tyre noise in a way that this one simply doesn't. We just mentioned the provision of a sporty hashtag one derivative. What of that? Well, the Brabus designation featuring on that flagship version never meant very much on previous smart models, aside from a price inflation and some trendy trimming. Here, though, it designates an almost completely different powertrain recipe, with an extra motor being added over the front wheels to create the usual EV dual-motor all-wheel drive system, as part of which the power output leaps up to 428 horsepower. And that's enough if you select this variant's fieriest extra Brabus drive mode to hurl a hashtag one Brabus to 62 miles an hour in just 3.9 seconds, courtesy of 543 newton meters of torque. In class, only the MG4 X power can match that, though that car can't quite equal a hashtag one Brabus model's drive range rated at 248 miles. That sporty variant certainly proves the worth of this car's advanced SEA Geely sourced platform. But ultimately, it's still not a credible EV hot hatch in the sense that combustion enthusiasts would understand. In this new electrified era, Smart has little interest in those kinds of customers and debatably never did. For all the actual target market here, the hashtag one attributes we've already covered will work just fine. As will an impressively complete suite of driver aids that will virtually drive the car for you on both the highway and on your stop start commute on the urban high road. It's there in town that this car feels most at home. In that respect, at least, it is indeed a true smart. The quick summary here is that everything you can see comes from Mercedes in terms of look and style, and just about everything you can't comes from Chinese conglomerate Geely, primarily the SEA or Sustainable Experience Architecture platform this car rides upon. Here, our focus is on the tactile stuff, which Mercedes-Benz chief engineer Gordon Wagner describes as cool, fresh and enchanting you decide. Some at Smart describe this car as an SUV. It very clearly isn't, but there are a few crossover style cues like the two-tone paint scheme and black plastic clad wheel arches that house the kind of big range sapping 19 inch wheels you'd think an EV of this kind might want to avoid. The style of those rims is personalised to the trim level you've chosen. With the mainstream variants, the alloys look more like aero fairings. The body shapes, characterised by smooth surfaces, a so-called flying roof and a sleek design that flows down over the branded C-pillars. All of it emphasising a size that's significantly larger 
than anything the brand has delivered before. This car is 4,270 millimetres in length, or to put it another way, almost twice as long as an old Smart 4.2. The front end of this EV doesn't bother with anything as unnecessary or old hat as a conventional grille, but looks a tad anonymous as a result, unless the model you've picked happens to have the sporty embellishment of the top Brabus version. This conventional variant can only offer fake corner cutouts and a gaping silver framed lower intake. The so-called CyberSparks LED headlights get frames enhanced with illuminated daytime running lights are connected with a slim frontal light bar beneath the brand logo and on most models come with intelligent matrix beams too. More LED lighting characterises the rear, the branded tail lamps connected by a slim animated light bar. It's all very recognisable from the kind of thing we've already seen on Mercedes EQ designs like the EQA. You get a subtle roof spoiler, a minimalistic badge on the tailgate, and on the Brabus version, red detailing in the lower diffuser. Right, time to take a look inside. Now, unlock the car as you approach, and the front and rear light bars perform a little animated welcome as the smart branded concealed electric door handles pop out. These also being illuminated, providing you've avoided base trim. Now, are we gonna be served up the usual funky smart cabin, or something a little more restrained in keeping with this car's more mature price tag? Let's have a look. Luxurious it isn't. On trend? Well, perhaps yes, if that's what you're after. Smart clearly thought it could get away with continuing its funky vibe into this new, more exalted price point in this new, trendier EV era. There's no start button, the car simply senses your arrival. And less surprisingly, given that this is a Mercedes design, no centre console drive controller either. Gear selection duties conducted by the Stuttgart brand's usual slim right-hand stalk. To try and make you feel better about having doubled your usual smart spend, there are a few plush touches like this stitched dash top and these classily illuminated A-pillar speaker grills. A minimalistic but impractically coloured white finished dash wraps itself around you, buttons are largely banished and instead of an instrument binnacle you view a narrow letterbox shaped 9.2 inch HD digital instrument screen through the jaunty three-spoke smart branded wheel. Perhaps this is the kind of thing Tesla would create were it to design a car for this segment. Certainly some of the instrument screen graphics suggest influence from that US EV giant, particularly the centrally placed virtual car depiction that accompanies you as you drive. This is flanked on the left by readouts for speed, battery charge and range. And on the right by briefings on time, mileage, temperature, drive mode and gear selection. Everything, in other words, you really need to know without the whole effect being too cluttered. The Tesla vibe continues with the accompanying centre touchscreen, which pops up picture-in-picture picture surround view camera displays if you get close to another vehicle. This 12.8-inch central monitor is a tech trendsetter's dream, using an AI-based infotainment system based around Geely's eCar X tech and a fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 intelligent chipset with 7 nanometer process technology and an 8-core CPU processor. No, we don't understand what all that means either, but Smart claims this setup to be class-leadingly advanced, and we wouldn't doubt it. There's certainly plenty here with a 3D interface, over-the-air updates, and even an animated fox that pops up above menus and boxes. As well as navigation, music streaming, and Bluetooth, the usual Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring systems come included, plus Spotify's pre-installed as standard. There's a 4G Wi-Fi, and the system set up for podcasting. And in car games, it's all very on trend. And aside from screens, well, you're not want for equipment. All versions get this so-called halo panoramic glass sunroof, which comes with a powered sunshade blind. And all you have to do is to avoid base trim to get smart man-made duo leather upholstery, plus niceties like a 10 inch head up display, 64 color ambient lighting and a 13 speaker 640 watt Beats sound system with an amplifier module and a subwoofer. There's plenty of cabin storage space too. Part of the reason this center console's high 
is so it can free up space for this simply huge stowage area lower down, which is large enough to take a small carrier of shopping or a big handbag. Smaller items go in hidden compartments along the top of the console. Between the seats is a lidded cool box with a slot for your charging cart. Ahead of that is another lidded compartment which conceals twin cup holders and a pen slot and angled towards the ambient lighting framed twin vents in the centre of the fascia is a final compartment with a 12 volt socket, a couple of USB-C charging ports and again provided you've avoided base trim, a wireless phone charging mat. There's also a big glove box, decently sized door bins, ticket clips in the sun visors and the overhead sunglasses compartment that most competitors overlook. Right, time to take a look in the back. Now, thanks to the lengthy 4,027 millimetre wheelbase, Smart reckons that there's more room in the rear than you'd get in a Mercedes E-Class executive saloon. Well, we're not sure about that, but it does feel very spacious back here for what is essentially a golf-sized family hatchback. As you'd expect from an EV, there's a totally flat floor, but it's unlikely you'll be taking advantage of that to seat a centrally placed person back here very often, given the way the bench is sculpted and the modest width of the cabin. A huge bonus, though, is that this seat can slide and recline, and you'll be thankful for the airiness you enjoy back here. That halo glass roof contributes most to this, of course, but the light vibe is also aided by these neat little rear quarter light windows. It feels decently premium back here thanks to touches like these ambient lighting framed central vents and the stitched door cards with their big Beats door speakers. The headrests don't dig into your back prior to raising as is the case with some rivals and all the expected practicalities are provided for. A central armrest with cup holders, seat back pockets, decent door bins and a circular overhead reading light on either side. Smart has thoughtfully provided both a USB A and C port for device plugging in and there's a small cubby just below. Right let's finish with a look at boot space. Now a powered tailgate comes as standard and will feature gesture control provided you avoid base trim. It rises to reveal a 411 litre boot in this premium spec model. It's 421 litres with base pro plus trim. This trunk area isn't actually quite as spacious as those figures might suggest. Just three carry-on cases would fit beneath the load cover. To give you some class perspective, a rival Kia Nero EV would take seven. On the plus side, there is at least plenty of underfloor storage for your charging leads, though only because Smart neglects to offer any sort of spare wheel down here. Get a puncture, and as with most EVs these days, you'll be stuck at the side of the road with a tyre inflation kit. Another thing most EVs don't provide for is an adjustable height boot floor. You don't get one of those either. Four tie downs do feature. There's netted storage on both the left and the right, and bag hooks are provided on both sides. You also get a 12 volt socket. If you've longer items to take, but rear seat folk to carry, you'll be glad of the provision of this central ski hatch. If that's not enough, push forward the rear bench and 976 litres of space can be freed up. In theory, you don't have to fit everything in the rear because Smart provides a further frunk space beneath the bonnet. Unfortunately, it's lunchbox size, just 15 litres, so we're not really sure what you'd use it for. This is easily the most expensive smart model ever made, but it's pitched at about the level of its market contemporaries, priced as we filmed in autumn 2023 from around £36,000. That gets you the base Pro Plus version. A mid-range premium variant like the one we have here costs from around £39,000 as we filmed, and at the time of this review, Smart was still offering the initial fully loaded launch edition model at just under £40,000. At the top of the range, there's the top Brabus performance model, priced as we filmed from around £43,500. Just to remind you, Smart doesn't have any Solus UK dealerships, 
There are currently around 35 Mercedes-Benz franchises in the UK that also sell smart models, where the brand occupies its own separate space in the showroom with a dedicated smart salesperson on hand. What about rivals? Well, this smart hashtag one fits into the volume family hatch niche for EVs that so many brands are targeting right now. To put that into perspective for you, we're talking a class of small EV that's a little bigger than, say, a Mini Cooper Electric or a Mazda MX-30, but a touch smaller than models like Volkswagen's ID4 or the Hyundai Ioniq 5. So, what else would you be considering were you to be looking at this car? Well, probably the most recognisable cars that typify this model's chosen niche are Volkswagen's ID3, Hyundai's Kona Electric and Kia's Nero EV. But potential customers for this class of EV in the 35 to £40,000 bracket are also looking at contenders like Skoda's Enyaq IV, Renault's Megane E-Tech, Peugeot's E2008, Fiat's 600e, Vauxhall's Mocha Electric, the MG4 and the model that started it all in this segment, Nissan's Leaf. We actually think a likely smart hashtag one customer, though, would be the kind of person looking for something a little different to the established segment choices. Something with a little extra wannabe premium sheen. Maybe EV models like the Volvo EX30, a Mini Countryman Electric, the Cupra Born, Honda's Anyone, or a Jeep Avenger. If such customer was better informed, their wish list in this class might additionally include contenders like the DS3 E-Tents, BYD's Atto 3, Citroen's EC4 and Kia's Soul EV. If having considered all these alternatives, you conclude that it is a smart hashtag one that you really want, you're going to need to know just how generous the brand has been with standard kits. So let's take a look at that now. All models get 19-inch wheels, a fixed panoramic halo sunroof with a power-adjustable shade, Cyber Sparkle LED headlights, roof rails, rear privacy glass, a powered tailgate, keyless entry, LED tail lamps, all-round parking sensors and a 360-degree parking camera. You also get drive modes, eco, comfort and sport and adaptive cruise control with a stop-and-go function. Inside, with all smart Hashtag One models, there's heating, six-way power adjustment and lumbar support for the front seats, plus automatic two-zone climate control, a 9.2-inch full LCD HD instrument cluster, and also dimming interior mirror and little touches like ambient lighting and stainless steel door tread plates. Media connectivity is taken care of by a 12.8-inch central display touchscreen, complete with an intelligent voice assistant, Bluetooth, a DAB digital radio and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. Also included is a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot over the air updates and a one-year trial of a premium connectivity package which gives you unlimited data, stolen vehicle tracking and map updates. All this comes included with base Pro Plus trim but you're probably going to want to stretch at least as far as the mid-range premium spec model that we're trying here if only to get a better kind of EV powertrain. The one with base Pro Plus trim can only AC charge at up to 7.4 kilowatts, a figure the pricier smart hashtag one variants increase right up to 22 kilowatts, which will more than halve your garage wall box battery replenishment time. Avoid base trim in this smart and you also get a heat pump, which will help extend the battery's driving range in cold weather. Premium trim, the specification for which also formed the basis for the initial launch edition variant, additionally gets you Matrix LED Plus headlights with adaptive high beam and automatic parking assist, which will automatically slot the car into tight spaces. Plus, for premium spec customers, there are extra little touches, like a specific design of 19-inch wheel, illumination for the concealed door handles, scrolling dynamic indicators, and gesture control for the powered tailgate. Inside, with premium spec, there's smarter duo leather upholstery, a 10-inch head-up display, a wireless phone charger, and a 13-speaker 640-watt 
Beats sound system. And the cabin's upgraded with extended 64 color premium ambient lighting, illuminated door tread plates, and a leather steering wheel cover. That only leaves the top all-wheel drive twin motor Brabus model, set apart by a sporty body kit and its own 19-inch wheel design with red brake calipers. Inside Brabus spec is set apart by microfiber suede upholstery and sports-style pedals. Plus, you get a simulated engine sound under acceleration and an extra Brabus drive mode. What about options across the range? Well, there really aren't any. The only standalone option we could find was a towing package available as we filmed for £1,262.26, including VAT. On to safety provision across the range. Now, to help justify the asking prices, there's a lot of it. So let's start with the camera-based stuff. There's the usual front and rear collision mitigation autonomous braking system, plus a whole host of things to keep you properly in lane. Lane departure warning, lane keep assist, emergency lane keep assist, lane departure prevention, and lane change assist. There's also blind spot detection and a door open warning feature. Semi-autonomous drive stuff includes traffic jam assist, which will basically drive the car for you in low speed stop start traffic. And highway assist, which will do the same kind of thing at cruising speeds. Plus there's intelligent speed assist, which if set will use the standard traffic sign recognition system to automatically adjust your speed to posted limits. What else? Well, an evasive manoeuvre assist feature adds extra steering assistance in a panic situation. And if you avoid base trim, you'll get a parking emergency braking system that will automatically brake the car to avoid collisions at low parking speeds to avoid, say, a low wall or a bollard you haven't seen, or more seriously, a stray animal or child. All the usual passive features are included too, of course, seven airbags, the usual electronic assistance for braking, stability and traction, and an e-call system that will automatically give the rescue services your GPS location in the event of an accident where the airbags have gone off. As a result of all this, the hashtag one received the full five stars in industry standard Euro NCAP safety tests and furthered its credentials with a second place finish in the prestigious Watt Car Safety Award in 2023, achieving one of the highest adult occupant protection scores of the year with 96%. We gave you this car's drive range figures in our driving section. 273 miles for this mainstream premium spec model, 260 for the base Pro Plus variant, and 248 for the all-wheel drive twin motor Brabus tuned version. That pitches is smart somewhere in the midfield when it comes to range capability in this class. It's better than what Stellantis Group class entrants like the Vauxhall Mocha Electric or the Peugeot E2008 can offer but not quite as good as you get from Korean contingent models like the Kia Nero EV and the Hyundai Kona Electric. Range with this Smart is maximised by the car's slippery shape. There's a sleek drag coefficient of 0.29 CD, achieved thanks also to features like an active grille shutter and concealed door handles. And if you avoid base trim, you'll also get a heat pump, which will maximise battery output in cold weather. What about charging? Well, the 150 kilowatt charging speed looks good. It's class leading, in fact, which allows for a 10 to 80% DC supercharging time of just 30 minutes. To give you some perspective, that's about 15 minutes quicker than a rival Kia Nero EV. In some other charging respects, though, you'll need to read the fine print. The 66 kilowatt hour battery, only 62 of which is usable, takes just three hours to replenish itself from 10 to 80% from an AC supply, but that's only when a 22 kilowatt AC charge power system's fitted. It isn't with base Pro Plus trim, which makes do with a feeble 7.4 kilowatt AC charge system and consequently takes seven and a half hours to AC charge from 10 to 80%. Full battery replenishment, by the way, takes a lot longer. A 7.4 kilowatt garage wall box needs 12 hours, 45 minutes 
to completely charge the battery from empty to full. As usual with an EV, the car slots into a low 2% benefiting kind taxation bracket and is exempt from road fund license, London congestion charge and London ULES charges until 2025. Insurance is Group 30 for the Base Pro Plus, Group 31 for this premium version and Group 39 for the top Brabus variant. And what about the peace of mind you'd want from a potentially unfamiliar brand? Well, there's a three-year unlimited mileage warranty, an eight-year 125,000 mile battery warranty, and every car comes with an integrated service package covering servicing and wear and tear items for three years or 30,000 miles. Plus, there's roadside assistance for up to eight years or 100,000 miles, provided the car's maintained at a smart after-sales partner. So, what do we have here? The first new model from Smart since 2014. Well, a rather unusual confection, to be sure, as you might expect from a rather unusual brand. We'd hoped the Hashtag One might have been a bit more fun to drive, and we certainly thought that a mark synonymous with affordable, no-frills urban transport might have come up with a car priced more accessibly. But the company spent decades trying to make money doing that and failed. So this, instead, is its new direction. Which might just work if enough people can be persuaded to try one of these. They'll like the supple ride, the excellent refinement, the very complete suite of drive assistance features and the excellent after-sales package, all of which this car will need in its increasingly crowded segment. In its favour is that it's certainly different and potentially very individual. In that sense, the Hashtag One very much retains the smart spirit, as does the funky cabin. But does all that justify the asking price attached here? It's way above anything brand loyalists have had to find in the past. But then this is a very different kind of car, catering for the completely different kind of audience this reinvented car maker is now seeking. The smart brand has grown up. Hashtag about time.